Ever heard the name Jack Barrett? Sounds familiar. He was in the Marines up until about a year ago. Two weeks out of training, his troop gets ambushed on their first military exercise. Only Barrett made it back alive. Yes, I've seen the report. Where is he now? Staying with a girlfriend, the guy's a total burnout. So why are you bringing this to me? Because I think he's what we're looking for. Hello, and welcome to Rider Fleet Care Online, a web-based information tool that gives you the power to manage your fleet at the click of a button. With easy access, it's practical and simple to use, and provides a one central point of information to access and analyse your vehicle data and costs. So what are the benefits of Fleet Care Online to you, our customer? You and your team will be able to view payment records, review your fleet costs, and study non-contract billing details. It will enable you to quickly review your contract information and analyse costs based on what is and what is not included in your contract. It will give you the information to make informed decisions so you can run your fleet even more proactively. Fleet Care Online from Ryder gives you the information to help save you money, reduce administration, provide easier access to fleet information across your company and greater control over compliance. Ryder Fleet Care Online, keeping your fleet moving. Okay, Dr. Cormo, uh, thank you for having me. Um, Firstly, could you just uh, briefly explain who you are and what you do? Yes, I'm a chartered psychologist and lecturer in cognitive neuropsychology at Manchester University, where I'm also head of research in what we call persistent déjà vécu, otherwise known as chronic déjà vu. Chronic déjà vu is different from regular déjà vu, which is why we call it déjà vécu. Uh, regular déjà vu is a fleeting sensation which is distinguished as being peculiar, but normal and quickly forgotten. Whereas chronic déjà vu sufferers uh, don't have this distinction, the sensation is ongoing. So whereas déjà vu means already seen, déjà vécu means already lived. Um, these patients don't suffer from fleeting senses of false familiarity. They suffer from complete false recollection. OK, OK. We need your help, Jack. And we can't go through the usual people. I'm not what you want. Trust me. We're talking about tens of thousands of innocent lives. I've got another life now, Graham. I watched you train. I know you just can't walk away from this. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Whatever you can. Something's not right. Just do your job, recover what was stolen, and return it to us. That's it. I think I'm being liked. They're just up here. Marvellous creatures. Not far now. Phil, I don't see any bitters. They hang out over there on the mud flats. Fantastic view, isn't it? You. Okay. The guy is a fucking idiot. He doesn't even stay He's on his mark. He's not an idiot. We don't have a very big budget. We can't afford the likes of Bill Oddy. Bill? Oh shit. Bill! Oh, He's left his bloody mark! Bill! Your man is gone! What do you mean, go? Barrett's out of control. This is over! I can get him back. You should have done as you were told. I've got me. Oh, great. Look, Theo, thanks for coming round, but I can't come with you. Why not? Because I have my family here. My sister and my parents. I can't leave them. Do you understand? I understand. Peter. What? No, Dad, I can't. Look, I know this is hard for you. It's hard for us too. But you have to go. Things aren't good here. And if Theo's father is telling the truth and this future project exists, then you can't afford to give up this chance. But what about you? We'll be fine. Can they not come too? 
No, Peter, we can't. We belong here. But you, you're young. You deserve a future. You don't have one here. Nobody does. I need your help now. This is your last chance, Jack. Go, go. Kill the cloak. Now! Get down! Barrett's got nothing left. I promise you. He'll play along. Spinning, I go to sleep and keep grinning. If this is just the beginning, my life is gonna be beautiful. She's telling me we'll be wed. She's picked out a king size bed. I couldn't feel any better, or I'd be sick. Tell me quick. Quick, ain't love a kid.